Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about the best dry shampoos that you can get in the hair care market as of today. For those of you that are new here, hi, I'm Danette or Eat Sleep Mascara. I'm super excited to have you here. A little bit about me really quick is that I work in the software industry, don't work in the beauty or makeup or hair uh, industry, but I've always had a huge passion for it, so that's why I'm here and on Instagram under the same name. So if you like what you see so far in this video, which isn't very much, <laughs> Please feel free to subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Instagram. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Today's topic is going to be the best dry shampoos on the market. I have tested all sorts of dry shampoos. I got into dry shampoos, I believe, in college, which was, let me think now, like over 10 years ago. Oh God. Every time I say that, it's just like a very terrifying moment for myself, but it's true. I've been out of college for a really long time, which means that I've been testing dry shampoos for a really, really long time. I feel like dry shampoos normally fall into two different categories and I like to segment them out that way and then there is one specific segment that I like more. So one of the segments is where it really kind of texturizes your hair, it applies a little bit of grit and then that way kind of soaks up some of the oil from like your second day hair, etc, etc. Um, and then there's the other one where instead of a, like really giving you that gritty feeling, it just kind of cleans your hair and then gives you just a slight touch of a mattifying effect so your hair doesn't look like super shiny and oily. So. For me, I much prefer dry shampoos that clean your hair versus adding grit to your hair. I don't normally, I usually actually wear my hair up, so uh, that's something definitely to take note of. But I, if, I, if I'm touching my hair, I don't really want to feel any grit. I want my hair to just feel like my hair. That's why I prefer dry shampoos that are more adept at cleaning your hair versus just kind of making it feel um, gritty. So just... FYI disclaimer on that front. So that's what most of these dry shampoos that I'm going to talk about today do. To start out, we're going to be talking about the Elizabeth and James Nirvana dry shampoo. Okay, this product is discontinued, but the reason why I'm bringing it up in this video is because this is my gold standard. First, the fragrance is amazing. Uh, they had like a bunch of different fragrances. They had the white, black, bourbon, and rose, and all four of them were absolutely incredible but the product itself was so good at cleaning your hair. I would literally spray dry shampoo into my hair the night before, like before I went to bed. And when I woke up the next morning, it was like my hair was just clean. It didn't look matted. It didn't look weird from sleeping on it. And so this is the gold standard. And the day that they discontinued it was like the worst day of my life. But we, we all have to move on. So here are the alternatives. I don't currently have this one from Batiste, but if I'll insert a photo somewhere of what it looks like um, and where you can find it, I'll put that in all in the description box below. But Batiste is one of the best drugstore dry shampoos that you can purchase, plus it comes in a million different flavors. I would definitely recommend checking that one out if you're looking for a drugstore shampoo. I think it's also one of the highest rated, like everyone likes it. It's really good at cleaning your hair. The only thing that I don't like about the Batiste dry shampoo, and this is only like a very slight thing, is that every once in a while when I use it, I'll notice that my scalp does get a little bit itchy over time, but it does such a great job at cleaning your hair that like I'm kind of like whatever, I don't really care. It's fine. It's fine. I don't mind. Um, and especially at the price point that it's at, it honestly cannot be beat. The other thing about the Batiste is that it also does come in a travel size, so if you're planning on traveling, it's super convenient to have. So from there, let's go ahead and talk about um, another item that you can pick up at Target. This is the Kristen S. Style Reviving Dry Shampoo. So this one does a really good job of cleaning your hair. It also smells pretty decent. It's a little florally and with like a little bit of a fruit scent that kind of comes as like an after not an aftertaste, but like an after smell, if that makes sense. This is a dry shampoo that I like to put into my hair the day of. So like the morning that I'm about to head out, this is what I will spritz into my hair. I have some dry shampoos where I prefer them. Like they do, they do such a great job at cleansing your hair or cleansing your scalp or removing the oil that I'll put them in my hair like overnight. So like I'll, I'll spritz it into my hair and then just go to sleep. This is one that I'll do day of because I think it does a much better job of kind of refreshing and like I don't want to put all of these dry shampoos in my hair. So if you're at Target definitely go ahead and check out the Kristen S1. And then the next one I wanted to talk about is from Kerastase. I'm actually almost out of this one so I have a reserve of it because it's pretty good. So this is the Kerastase Fresh Affair Refreshing Dry Shampoo and this one actually came out in I believe either 
2020 or 2021. So this is probably um, relatively-ish new to the market. I really, really like this dry shampoo. I think it does a really great job. The fragrance is on point. Ah, it smells so good. So like fresh. Anyway, if you haven't tried Kerastase's line of hair care products, by the way, I would definitely recommend checking them out. This dry shampoo, I would say, does a really good job of helping soak up some of that oil. This is one that I also like to use like day of. I don't usually spray this one in my hair overnight. The next dry shampoo that I wanted to talk about is from Dry Bar. I just have the little travel size right now, but it does come in like the full size. Uh, this is the Detox Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar in the specific flavor Coconut Colada. I have to make a very, very strong point here. If you are slightly adverse to strong fragrances, as in you want a dry shampoo that is going to clean your hair and then that smell or that fragrance kind of dissipates, this is not for you. The dry bar dry shampoos all are super, super smelly. And the original one I actually really hate. That's a little bit strong. I, I don't hate it. I just, I don't prefer it. When they came out with the coconut colada one, I was like, oh yeah, this one smells absolutely amazing. It smells like a beach vacation. Awesome, awesome dry shampoo. And it does also cleanse your hair very, very well. Now I will say this one leaves a pretty heavy white cast. So that's why I like to spray this one overnight. So before I go to bed, I'll just spritz it into my hair. And the next morning when I wake up, my hair is pretty much pretty clean um, or looking quite similar to as if I had just washed my hair. So this is definitely a really good one. I would recommend checking this out. And again, also comes in the travel size, so super easy to travel with. The t last two dry shampoos that I wanted to talk about are super innovative and just very, very special in their own right. So this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. So this one came out last year. This is the newest one in all of my dry shampoos that I have here. And I lost the cap, so <laughs> don't mind me. But this is an incredible dry shampoo. If you are on, let's say, your third, fourth, fifth day of not washing your hair and you need something that is going to literally actually clean your hair and soak up all of that oil and give you that fresh clean hair look this is what i would reach for they do have the original perfect hair day dry shampoo that one is fine i don't it, like it's like it's fine right there's just not much to say about it it's not like something that i would call out and be like you have to buy this but the advanced clean dry shampoo which is the newest one that they came out with is totally worth it i would highly recommend going and checking it out one of the things that i really like about this dry shampoo is that it lasts for a really long time just within the canisters for this i feel like even when I was using it pretty regularly. It lasted for about a month and a half to two months, which is pretty incredible. So for this one, I would say a little goes a long way in terms of product. Like, so you're not going to just be sitting there and spraying like a ton of dry shampoo into your hair. You're literally just going to hit those spots that you need to must muss it up around in your hair, brush your hair and kind of make sure that all those particles are gone and your hair will be looking honestly fantastic. So this is probably the biggest winner and then one that is most similar to the Elizabeth and James dry shampoo that is my gold standard. Okay, the next product I want to talk about is from Bumble and Bumble. Actually, this is next and last. This is their Pret a Powder Post Workout Dry Shampoo Mist. They have two different kinds of dry shampoos. They have a dry version of this where it's just the powder, very similar to like your normal dry shampoo. And then they have this mist. I don't care very much for the regular dry formula, but this is totally innovative and totally helpful. If you are one of those ladies, for example, where you like to work out um, maybe midday, or you're one of those people where you work out in the morning, but you don't necessarily wash your hair every single time that you work out, something like that, this will work so, so well. So the way that you use this is because it's a liquid, right? It's, you can obviously, right? <laughs> You can actually spray this in your hair while your hair is damp or sweaty or whatever it is. So obviously when you're looking at something like these, like the normal dry shampoos, you can't spray this into your hair when your hair is damp because it's just going to get all like kind of like pasty. Ugh gross. So the way that you use this product and to really kind of get that innovation is that while your hair is all like sweaty from like your workout or whatever it is that you've been doing, um, you can spray this into your hair, let it sit for about 30 seconds to about a minute. And then if you fluff your hair around and brush it out and then let your hair just kind of dry naturally on its own, it literally looks like you haven't worked out. You haven't done anything strenuous or anything like that and your hair just looks absolutely amazing. And 
I feel like it also adds quite a bit of volume, especially if you're really spraying like up here under the roots here. So my hair usually gets super oily, like right around the crown area. And so that's when I really like to use a dry shampoo like this, particularly post like workout or something like that to really kind of just help refresh my hair and make sure that I kind of get through it the rest of the day. The other thing too, though, is that this fragrance smells really, really good, but it doesn't last a really long time. It's almost kind of like an odor canceling fragrance versus like a perfumey fragrance that's built into your dry shampoo. That pretty much wraps up this video. It was definitely a very quick one today, but I wanted to talk about my favorite dry shampoos. I've tested about like I don't, I, can, I don't even know how many I've tested at this point, but these are my absolute winners. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed watching this video, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Okay. <coughs> Why? Always choking. It's a mess. Is it because I've been like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>